Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a boiler service on a steam boiler. This is in a, uh, I think it's four or five floor apartment building. But before I do that, bug spray. Because I see a whole bunch of creepy crawlies running around down here. And I don't want them coming home with me. Gonna hit the bag too. Here is the beauty in all her glory. This is where your heat comes from. First thing I always do, power off. Now I'm just gonna do a quick overview, you know, look for anything that's dirty or I should probably check on, but I have a whole system that I go through. Okay, so I always check the probe low water cutoff. I pull it out and make sure it looks good. I'm gonna clean the sight glass because it's gross, but first I'm gonna flush my 51-2 low water cutoff because if this doesn't flush, then that means there's a ton of mud sitting in the bottom of here and I'm gonna have to open it up and clean it out. But since we're flushing, we're in good shape. Probably help if I fully shut the water off too. And now I wait until the water level's below the probe. I'm gonna start disconnecting everything in the meantime though. Gonna twist that off, okay. Now you don't have to take these out all the way. You know, it's got the, the slots on it, but now we play the waiting game. Actually, while I'm waiting for that to drain, I am gonna open up my pressure troll loop and make sure that this is not plugged up. Okay, and to be clear, when I say drain it, I mean drain it just below the probe, not the whole boiler. That would be pointless. Now, I always hold back with two wrenches because I don't want any of these to loosen up. Just enough to, like, do it by hand. All right, let's take a look. Mm, not bad, but I'm going to clean it anyway. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to clean my pigtails, too. So I'm going to start disconnecting all the wires off of my pressure troll and my high-limit manual reset pressure troll. These come off quite easy, you know, you just unscrew them. Okay, now, pigtails are a little challenge to get off, but what you could do is take a pair of channel locks or something and use that to put some even pressure on the loop and it'll get it off nice and easy. Great. Oh man, I gotta take that off too. All right, I'm just gonna hold that right there until I see water coming out of my pigtail. This way I know it's clear, because if this plugs up, we have no way of shutting off the boiler. There's always a piece of garbage lying around somewhere. Alright, put my two plugs back on the end. Now I'm just gonna pour this down one of the holes and wash all the good stuff down. There we go, that's plenty. We definitely don't want this to be plugged up, but you know, if there's at least a little bit of room for steam pressure to push through, that's okay. This is the important thing, the pigtails, because this is what allows the pressure to go up to our pressure trolls to shut off the boiler. All right, got everything back together. New mega lock and Teflon on everything. Wires are all connected. Now the importance of cleaning pigtails is, so this is our operating pressure troll. If this is plugged up, that means when the boiler gets to one pound of steam, what it's set to, that it's not gonna push up and disconnect power. It's just gonna keep running and running and running. And then when this gets to 10 pounds, it's gonna trip our manual reset. So this is what lets the boiler run. This is the emergency. If this trips, someone has to come down and push that button. If this is plugged up and this is plugged up, it's gonna come out of our relief. And I think our water level's low enough now. I'm gonna check our probe, clean our sight glass, and we're gonna fire this baby up and we're gonna test our limit circuit. Having a hard time, that's a problem some of it out my god finally got it out but i broke the self-cleaning end of my probe so gotta get a new one man that is bad now that is more like it brand new okay now here's the question i have for you would you have done the same thing i did and you saw that the self-cleaning head was missing would you have went and got a new one hear me out this is for safety okay if the 51-2 goes bad, this is all we have to say there's low water in the boiler. At the rate those get plugged up with mud, I'm not taking any chances. If you agree with me, hit the like button. If you disagree with me and you would have kept it and just left it like that, instead of hitting the dislike button, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would have done different. Keep watching because it'll all make sense why I did what I did with the probe. Level this out. Perfect. Oh, and now the wonderful sight glass. All right, and we go up and out. Not terrible, but I'm gonna clean it anyway. 
Unfortunately, that's as good as I'm gonna get it. I just don't have all day to, you know, get this perfect. On top of that, I hit my head on the gas meter probably three times, so I'm done. Before I go, a lot of mud in there. I'm gonna open up the sight glass and just wash out all that mud. All right, new gaskets. Water level is pretty good, creeping up a little bit. What I don't understand though is why our water level is above normal. And when I open, it's still filling. I think our head assembly is plugged up. Time to drain it and find out. All right, I got the bolts out, broke both unions, closed the valve. Now we play the waiting game. I just saw a big chunk of something fall into the bucket from the pipe. All right, I'm getting impatient, so let's pull this off. Aha! What did I tell you? Okay, let me shut that for a second. We'll go over this. Okay, the way this works, this ball floats up and down. When it's down, that means that there is no water. So water starts filling up, the ball floats, turns off the fill. So let's say this plugged up and there was so much mud that the ball locked up. That means it thinks that there is water in the boiler. But, you know, maybe there's a leak or over time we lose water. Water starts slowly draining out, draining out, draining out. And then it comes to our probe. If our probe is not in tip top shape, it might get so low that we run the boiler dry and we crack it. So in this case, the inside of our 51-2 was filled with mud at the bottom and the ball was sitting down. So it just kept feeding and feeding and feeding until water would eventually roll over the top, fill it, and then that would shut the feed off. But we don't want that to happen because then we have a flooded boiler and then we're gonna get knocking and banging. I'm just gonna go through and clean this out really good. The only downside with these 51-2s is the water could be coming out of this pipe and draining down. We might think it's coming from up here, but it's really coming from over here. So if you ever feel like something is off or wrong, you gotta pull it apart and take a look. I'm gonna steal one of these really quick. Stuff on the side. There we go. That's nice and in there. Stir it up. Now watch it flush. That's what we want. All right. Head assembly back in, put the top two bolts in first just to help you hold it, and then you go in, put the rest, hand tight as much as you could go, and then turn them all evenly. When I say evenly, I mean if you're gonna do this one a quarter turn, do this one a quarter turn, this one a quarter turn, this one a quarter turn, on all of them, just so you know it's a nice, even seal. And don't forget the never sees. Okay, so I'm gonna go over everything in my head one more time, and your gasket, never sees, Unions are tight, valve is open. Um, all right, we're good to fill. Let's find out how high we're gonna go. Just about done filling and look at our level now. You see, I knew it was the right decision to change that probe. If that low water cut off, lost water, we could have lost this boiler. All right, let's pop our burner control on, flip the power, and let's take a look at this bad boy. All right, we're up and running. I'm gonna go through and check my pressure controls. That one's good. Okay, then we'll reset high limit. Now we hit the button. And we're good. All right, now moment of truth. That's what we wanna hear. And we're feeding. And not overfilling. All right, good pilot, being clean. Up to see, but we're up and running. Let's test it. Low water cutoff probe test is good. Well, I had a great time making the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. But it's 4:30, and it's time to go home.